There is a new temporary event in town, lasting only this week. Swim and dive for treasure. It's highly profitable. Solar farm with great fashion. If that tickles your pickle, you are in luck. This is how you do the sunken treasure bonus event. I master Astora needs more adventures for her treasure hunt. She sends you a mail upon logging into the game during the time of the event, and you will go to the designated spot in Lion's Arch. Talking to her gives you the first achievement. Full list is found is found underneath the category bonus events within your within your achievement tab. Astora also provides provides upgrades, swim infusions, exotic and ascended breathers with unique skins. Bubbles. Locate the free key in your inventory and double click it. This will guide you to the nearest chest. Go there, find the chest, click the key and repeat. So here is the full guide to all of these chests and their locations. Pause the video if you need and feel free to leave, leave questions in the comment section. All you have to do is do that, repeat, do this 10 times to different chests around Tyria. And for the full, for the full achievements, make sure to join into the two for extra fractals. Um, that's it. If you want to solo farm this, you just do the 10. The moment you've done the 10 open world ones, they will lock themselves back in. You could just repeatedly do those 10. So, enjoy. <laughs> Alright, just a little quick note here. At this point, my key began guiding me back to the one of the chests I've already done. So in here, I want to go into my equipment, achievement tab, bonus events, and check which achievements I had I'm yet to collect. And uh, the key will not help you here, but in my case, it was these two that, that, that I'm about to show you. So just a little note, a little note. Yeah. So good luck. Hopefully, this didn't happen to you. Very confusing. At this point, we only have three achievements left, right? It's the two fractal ones, and there's the big one, which you are just making progress to gradually by opening up any of these chests. So just do this repeatedly, or multiple times in one day if you want to go for it, or a couple times a day, whichever you remind, remind, just before the event ends, obviously. And um, coming up now is the, the two fractals. The fractals are the, the dungeon endgame content, but if you do tier one, you just, it doesn't require any agony out of you. Um, so the barrier of entry is very, very low. I would, rec I would recommend just make build a party. You need four players. Bring a friend, and go all welcome beginners. Da -da -da. Keep it chill. Keep it open. Keep it friendly, 
and you will have a great time. Follow the guide here and I will, go, I will quickly breeze through the main mechanics of uh, each fractal. Just kind of highlight them a little bit on how to do things. And where to find the chests at the end. Yeah, good luck. And now we have reached the end, so at this point you should have gotten all achievements except for, except for the main one, in which you obtain by just repeat this. And then you, at this point, the most popular way is to do the 10 open world ones, obviously, repeatedly. It's a quite, quite a solid solo farm, it doesn't take a lot of effort, not a lot of focus, and it will provide quite a decent amount of gold. Just keep it up, keep it up, get those incentive things. The bubbles look amazing. I right, hope this was helpful. And consider giving me a subscribe here on YouTube and check me out on Twitch where I do Guild Wars 2 streams almost every second day. And uh, stay healthy, stay happy, and take care of yourself. Hope to see you soon.